Hey, this is Derry. And this is Dan. And I'm Steve. We're the choir. And we are here at the beautiful Dark Horse Recording Studios. This is a uh, studio complex in the middle of the woods inside, outside of Franklin. Right. It's very ru rustic, but they also have the latest in technology inside, of course, with all the great gear. But also, we, we, we notice there's a car plugged into some... Uh, it's a charging station. A charging a station. station. Yeah, it's an electronic car. I've yes. never seen that at a studio. So we have the best of both worlds here. That's right. Yeah. And Dark Horse is we, where we are going to be doing uh, a recording for people that are going to come down and visit us on July 21st and 22nd here in Tennessee. This is a studio where we're going to record an original song. Right. We're still going to write that song. Yep. Yeah. Maybe we'll just wait till that day. Maybe. Try you never know. know. Right, right. But we want to give you a little bit Gary of... Gary will definitely wait. Sorry to interrupt. No, no Gary wait. will definitely wait till that day. I'll, yeah, I'll wait. I'll have something prepared in my mind. I won't even think about it. Today. Probably not. And I'll, I'll just try to figure out if I can play a little bit of a role in it myself. Right. So, uh, But we're going to take a video tour of Dark Horse Studios so you can kind of get a little bit of a glimpse for you that are coming or some of you that still want to come and spend some time with us at yeah. the uh, studio. Now keep it rolling. I want to point something out. One of my favorite things about the studio... Lisa, can you get that uh, picture up there, that scene? So you can climb all the way up there and hang out if you want, but my idea is that Dan Michaels goes up there with a sax, and we, we put a mic up there and record him. It's kind of like the opposite of the New York thing where the sax player is sitting outside on the window, you know, right, playing know to the city. But this yeah. is like the, the country thing. Hey, real quick, we're going to take on a fast-moving tour of the studio. Come follow us. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. One side. It's kind of dark in here. Probably. Go ahead, Lisa. Thanks. We've got the kitchen. This where we'll have some fine beverages and snacks. We're going to make our way up through to the lounge area. Now we know there's going to be a lot of people here, but we're just trying to let you know there's plenty of room to hang out and relax. We we'll play some checkers up here. I'll probably be laying on this couch at some point, like trying to think of the, the second verse, you know. Right? Maybe maybe a couple of you guys can sit on the table and like kind of like we can bounce off ideas. Our and... place is that the owner built hand was in, involved with hand building a lot of this himself. He did a lot of the work himself. So. And we actually just talked to the owner a few minutes ago, and he said that Matchbox 20 was recorded here for four months last year. So a lot of groups come up here and play. So this is a nice place to come up and reflect. It's kind of high up. And... Hey. Maybe we should like try to get the song in the key of this wind time. And, can... and the interesting thing is that Steve will have uh, the engineer out here with a microphone doing something for the I did on Flap Your Wings. We did mix Flap Your Wings here. And after mixing all night long, Julian was mixing. Mm -hmm. I did have him put a microphone out each end of the studio and record the birds in stereo. And mm -hmm. you can hear them while my 10 year old daughter Emily was playing the trumpet. Alaretta, right. the bird song. That's right. So, yeah, that time, something like that probably will that happen. happen. Something will happen like that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a great time, July 21st and 22nd. Yeah. We're going to have a big wing ding in the Michael's backyard on Saturday the 21st. Yeah, we're going to swim, barbecue, and play a private concert. Right. We are we're playing a concert? Yes. Okay. We're playing a private concert. Uh, and then we are going to come here on that the next day, Sunday, and we're going to record a song from start to finish in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. We're going to have look up as many headphones as they got. Mm -hmm. Somebody can come in the drum room with me if they want, put on the headphones, and we can talk about how I tune the bottom heads or, mm -hmm. you know, fascinating things like that. Yeah. That's the time that I'll be asleep on the couch. <laughs> and, uh, you know, people, Derry will show you how he works his, his uh, effects. Mm -hmm. I'll kick everybody out of the room like I do with Steve and Dan when I'm doing it. Yeah. No. No, I won't. No. no. Yeah. And so we uh, we hope that it's a really interactive day, and, and yeah. uh, we hope it's a good time. Do you think I should play Lyricon or Sax? I guess the song will be maybe maybe I think you should, you should play both, mm -hmm. and then maybe we'll, we will use something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you should play both. Play both of them. Okay, so I'll have my sax and my lyricon. So you'll be able to understand what a lyricon is mm -hmm. and 
see right. how that gets recorded. People yeah. get their money's worth. Mm -hmm. And you, you're still kind of keeping your office sure up a little bit every day. I am. Yes, I've been. Um, you know, I've been. Um, I, I've been playing a saxophone that's only made out of fish. It's like this uh, Eastern European fish. It was carved out of. But the problem with it is it can only play scales. Oh, that's bad. I knew that's I was going to want to I know. I know that was really bad. Okay. Hopefully bad. that'll be edited out. We can edit that out. You'll see. Uh, you'll get to see Tim Chandler stomping his foot as he plays his bass and yelling really loudly. Yep. 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 So that'll be. Naturally, yes. when Tim plays, sometimes you have to catch things that vibrate off the thing because he starts stomping his big old foot like that. I know. It's kind of like Bam Bam. You know. A little bit. A little bit. So yeah, here I am at the highest point of the of a studio, and I, I've never seen any, anyone else come up this high. But you know, I aspire to higher heights than, than a lot of people. <laughs> 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 